hey welcome back i have been asked to do more crock pot recipes and i was like heck far yes because it's been a busy week and i love making crock pot meals because you can just dump it forget about it so easy simple I'll, i love my crock pot and today i'm sharing with you four recipes that are absolutely delicious tasty super easy they are just the best crock pot recipes I've had in a really long time. Especially number three. Don't let that be a surprise. It's so stinking good. I love, I forget to make that all the time. I don't know why. Because it's so good. But anyways, without any further ado, stop blabbering, Brooke. Blabbermouth Brooke, that's my name. See, I'm, I'm blabbering. Anyways, I love you guys. Here we go. Let's get the show on the road. All right, get you a bag of Southern Style Hash Browns, a can of cream mushroom soup, eight ounces of sour cream, a sliced onion, a sliced, a diced onion, sharp cheddar cheese, and some smoked sausage. Dump that entire bag of Southern Style Hash Browns into your crock pot, all right? Then you're going to finely dice your onion, about a medium-sized onion, and you're going to put that right on top of the Southern Style Hash Browns. Now, if you wanted, you could get the Southern Style Hash Browns that has onion and peppers in it already. But I just didn't want peppers in mine. That's why I did it this way. All right, then you're going to coin up your smoked sausage and pour that right on top. I use better cheddar, but you can use whatever you want. That's just what I happen to have in my freezer. Now, you're going to take your can of cream of mushroom soup, plop it out in a bowl, and take the 8 ounces of sour cream and you're going to start mixing that together now it's thick so i decided to put a half a cup total of milk in with this so it would be you know a little thinner so i could pour it easier on top of all the mix all the stuff in the crock pot if i could talk now you're going to see me do it twice but it, in total it was just a half a cup so you're going to put some salt and pepper into this too go ahead and salt and pepper it like that you know that's just what i did i don't know why but i did it that way and you're going to whisk it up real good and then you're going to take that little mixture you made and pour over top of your smoked sausage and potatoes just like you see me doing here. When I put milk in it, it made it thinner and it was so much easier to pour like that. Now, we're not going to put the cheese in just yet, but we are going to put a little bit of garlic powder in there because, yes, garlic powder makes everything good. And I'm using some of the onion butter seasoning that I just have on hand. You don't have to use that. It's just something I like to do since I have it in the cabinet. I'm just going to mix it up real good and make sure that little sauce is evenly distributed across the potatoes. I guess that was a little weird. Um, but yeah, that's all you're going to do for now. You're going to cook this on high for four hours or low for eight hours. Super simple to do. Now, 20 minutes remaining, you're going to sprinkle it with that sharp cheddar cheese. Okay? 20 minutes. Remember, now this is what it looks like after it has cooked for three hours and 40 minutes, I am topping it with cheddar cheese, putting the lid on and letting it get all melty. Now look how beautiful that is. This meal was probably Dusty's most favorite that we, oh gosh, probably out of all the crock pot meals that I've made. He devoured this, y'all. It was so creamy, so delicious. Look how bomb that looks. And it was so easy to do. So filling. And we had leftovers for the next day for lunch. That I think two bowls worth. Look how cheesy and beautiful and creamy. Mm-hmm. Can't go wrong with that, let me tell you. All right, besties, let's make some easy sweet and sour meatballs. You're going to need you some meatballs. I like to get the frozen one because it's easy. Soy sauce, brown sugar, and you're going to need some cornstarch as well. I have one cup of unpacked brown sugar, putting it in the crock pot, along with a half a cup of soy sauce. I'm just eyeballing it, y'all. It's You know how I roll. It's just what I do. Now, you are going to need a little splash of vinegar. I would say fourth of a cup, maybe. 
three heaping spoonfuls of cornstarch. Now you're gonna get your whisk and whisk this up real good. Get all those clumpies of that cornstarch out of there. Cause this is gonna be creating your sauce for them sweet and sour meatballs. Now everything that I'm using here, pretty much I always have in the pantry. So this is very, very easy. I'm just dumping some meatballs, however many I wanted at the day. Alrighty, here they are three hours later. You see, the cornstarch made it get real thick. And here are the finished sweet and sour meatballs. I paired it with some sauteed veggies and some sticky rice. Ooh. That is a really good combination. I like it. Thank you. It's pretty good. Time for Tuscan garlic chicken pasta. I promise my crock pot's clean. Okay, so I'm taking three chicken breasts and putting in the crock pot. Yes, they're frozen. That's okay for this. Just want to sprinkle some salt, a little black pepper, Italian seasoning. I'm being pretty generous. I'm not really measuring mine, but in the description box below, I'll put uh, an estimate. This is garlic Tuscan chicken, so we're going to need some garlic. Along with men's garlic, I'm putting a little bit of powdered garlic powder. Powdered garlic? That sounds weird. Anyways. Next. This all slow cooks together. I just toss it in with each other. And, it, and it's good. So we're gonna use half of a 16 ounce container of heavy whipping cream. So one cup of heavy whipping cream. Yeah, that's half C's. I'm just using the rest of what I have in this baggie. Sun-dried tomatoes. I don't like a lot of sun-dried tomatoes. I just like a few. It calls for half a cup normally, but I'm just gonna put in a pinch because that's all I like. But if you like it better than I do, add you the whole half a cup. My Aunt Vicky would add the entire bag. She loves sun-dried tomatoes. Spinach. I just put two big handfuls of spinach in there. I just realized I forgot to put the salt in for the actual sauce. <laughs> so I'm putting a little bit of extra salt and pepper in there. You don't need to add water or chicken broth to this because the chicken is frozen and the chicken is gonna cook and release all the juices into this. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. What I am gonna do is put some olive oil on top because olive oil makes everything taste better, especially Italian dishes, in my opinion. So, put the lid on. We're gonna cook this on four hours on high. Well, this is what she looks like. <laughs> I'm just gonna mix this up. Um, you can see the heavy whipping cream separated a bit, but when you stir it up, it'll go right back together. This is my little trick. So these are around $2, I wanna say, at Walmart. But Amazon had these on sale once and you got a pack, a box of six of these for $4.89, I wanna say. So I stocked up. So <laughs> that makes these less than a dollar a piece. And you know what? These are already cooked. I'm just gonna dump them in here. And I'm gonna let it go for about 20 more minutes. Ready to go. Alrighty, it's officially done. Let's plate it up. She's done. Tell me how that Tuscan chicken is. Mmm. 
That's good. That's amazing. Mm. That is the best way to cook chicken. <laughs> Let's make some cracked chicken sliders, y'all. This is probably one of the most popular crock pot recipes there is. <laughs> but I'm sharing it with you guys because I'm making it and it's good. And in case you forgot about it, here it is again. We're going to make some cracked chicken sliders. You're going to need some chicken, boneless chicken, sharp cheddar cheese, ranch seasoning, cream cheese, and bacon crumbles. This is so easy. I'm using four frozen chicken breasts. The entire package of ranch seasoning. Eight ounces of cream cheese. Some salt. Two pinches of salt. And a good pinch of pepper. Don't add the bacon crumbles and your sharp cheddar cheese to about 15 minutes before it's done. We're going to cook this on high for four hours or low for eight hours. We have 18 minutes left. And I'm gonna go ahead and start shredding up the chicken. This chicken is falling apart. See, I'm barely doing anything. Now we put in a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. I'm eyeballing it like usual. And the same amount of bacon crumbles, bacon pieces. I'm just going to cover this and let it get all melty for the rest of the time remaining, which is like 10 minutes. Then we'll plate it up. And there it is. Doesn't it look so bomb.com? And yes, I still say bomb.com. Hi, I'm in the living room. Um, boys are busy. I am the taste tester tonight. So I'm gonna give this a go. Oh, delicious she looks. It's kind of like a chicken sloppy joe. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Perfection like always. That's good. If you guys have never tried that cracked chicken slider, you're missing out. Man, that's good. That is, that is bomb. I like to serve it with just french fries. Serve it with whatever you want, but french fries are good. Brayden's gonna love me. He loves anything with bacon and ranch. Mm. That's good. All right, there they are. Four crock pot recipes that are absolutely delicious. You guys have seen me do a sweet and sour meatball in here before, but this one is different. It is totally different and it's more simple and uses ingredients you just have in your home. By the way, did I say they were bomb? Because they were bomb.com. They were so stinking good. I swear they were so good. Like out of all the recipes of the sweet and sour meatballs that I've made before, I think I've made like three different ones. Those are my favorite. I'm probably gonna stick with that one because because this is pretty stinking good. I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you try any of these crock pot recipes, I hope you enjoy them. And I love you. I will see you in the next video. Remember, as always, be positive, kind, happy. Let others be happy, and I will see you later. Bye. I love you.